As we take a look at this model, this is a complete model with both lungs and heart, but we start off here with the larynx, and as we take a look at the air coming in from the larynx, we'll again notice the different cartilages here. Here is the, the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, and then on the posterior side, if we kind of lifted this off, we'll be able to see uh, the just a little bit of hint of the arytenoid and then the tips here, uh, way at the tips of the arytenoid being the corniculate, just a little tiny little dot there. The arytenoid is covered over by muscles that will help control our vocal production. You'll see that in the top flap here being the epiglottis, and then of course leading all the larynx going into what we call the trachea. And so with the trachea, uh, we'll find in the trachea leading into the lungs, what we'll find is we have two lungs, a right and a left lung. Uh, currently in this type of view, we can see many different structures, the first of which is just the overall kind of structures. We'll find the base of the lungs, we'll find the tips of the lungs being, or the tops of the lungs being called the apex of the lungs, and then we have different lobes. Both right and left lung have a superior lobe, so these are the left superior lobe, right superior lobe, and inferior lobe. This is the left inferior lobe, here down here is the right inferior lobe. The right lobe, the right lung actually has an additional lobe, what we call the middle lobe, uh, denoted by this kind of fissures. Both lungs have oblique fissures, cutting and separating out between the inferior and superior lobe. But then the middle lobe gets this extra, or the right lung gets this horizontal fissure helping to denote the middle lobe. So we have all these different lobes and if we kind of continue to pull them aside we can actually see the continuation of these kind of fissures here. Notice on the left lung, if the left lung doesn't have a third lobe, it has a cutout for the heart because I always think since the heart bends to the left, it has one less lobe. So that's why we get this little cardiac notch here. And that would be the cardiac notch in the lung itself. As we explore deeper, we'll find that the trachea is still exposed here and is split into two primary bronchi. So here's a primary bronchi and primary bronchi. And then of course, primary bronchi is split into secondary bronchi, two on the left, here's one and here's the second one, and then three on the right. Here's one, two, and then if I were to cover this little lineup, there's three altogether. Clearly, this tertiary secondary bronchi splits into tertiary bronchi, and then we get the left, the right tertiary bronchies in this model. Of course, bronchioles continue to extend into the lung, so all these would be considered bronchioles. And then what we find is some veins that we can see. This red one here, of course, is the pulmonary vein, and then the blue is the pulmonary artery. And then we can see the aortic arch and the thoracic aorta with the brachiocephalic left common carotid and the left subclavian branching off. Here's the right common carotid artery and right subclavian. In the same way we see the superior vena cava with the right and left brachiocephalic veins and then the right and left internal jugular with the right and left subclavian veins. And that's what this model is described as we go through a quick overview. Again, we start with the larynx with the three with the five different cartilages, thyroid, cricoid, arytenoid, corniculate, and the epiglottis. Continue on in the trachea, which branches into right and left primary bronchi, which go into secondary bronchi, one, three on the right two on the left, and then the tertiary bronchies. And then we can also see the different types of structures of the lungs. We can see the base of the lungs, we can see the apex of the lungs, we can see the lobes of the lungs, the superior lobe, the inferior lobe, and then the right only has the middle lobe. We see the oblique fissure, the line that separates out between them, a horizontal fissure only on the right side, and then a cutout where the heart would have been. This is the cardiac notch. As we take a look here, we can see the finish up of the vessels. We see the superior vena cava and the, next to the aortic, ascending aorta with the aortic arch and the thoracic aorta. We see the right and left brachiocephalic veins, which branch into the inf internal and the internal jugular and the subclavian, while the brachiocephalic artery and the superior, sorry, the superior, uh, sorry, the internal common carotid and the right subclavian, or left subclavian, uh, we see the branch of the brachiocephalic to the left uh, subcla right subclavian and the right common carotid, and of course the pulmonary vein and the pulmonary arteries.